Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. That might be of interest to some people, particularly the people who are involved in comics, comic books, independent comic books, making their own comics, that sort of thing. Because some of you may notice from my previous videos that I work as an English teacher, or I did work as an English teacher. I'm currently taking a break and I'm working for the library service. What I do have access to as a result of this slight change in jobs is that I am able to have a look and actually see what sort of things that young people are reading. And I thought that I'd have a look and see which were the most uh, popular, the most the, the comic books that are taken out of the library the most. I'm just going to give you the top 10 and I'm going to start with the most popular and work my way down. And the reasons for that will become clear at the end. But the first most popular comic book that we have that's taken out by more children than any other is... The Simpsons. We don't have that many. There, there, are, there tend to be books, there tend to be graphic novels rather than what Americans would call floppies, like an individual issue of a comic book. And the next most popular comic book read in, in the area is Naruto. And number three is My Hero Academia. Number four is Attack on Titan. Number five, hopefully not inspired by any of the schools that I've taught at, Assassination Classroom. Number six is Case Closed. Number seven is Death Note. Number eight is Beast Stars. Number nine is Zelda, and rounding out the top ten is Maximum Ride. Now you can probably tell already why it is that I did it in reverse order. is because nine of the ten most popular comic books are actually manga. There are no DC and there are no Marvel in the top 10. In fact, because of the way that I've collected these, I've gone through the, the top 100, if you like, and picked out, you know, if Naruto book three was for some reason the most popular, then I would have just lumped all Naruto in together at that point in the, the countdown rather than count all the books individually. That hasn't, as a result of doing that, changed the order that they're in. There still would be no DC or Marvel in the top 10. In fact, if you took out all the manga books into their individual volumes, there wouldn't be any DC or Marvel in the top 100 because I counted through the 100 graphic novels and there weren't any. There's not a lot in the library that I've seen. There's not a lot of DC, to be honest with you. I, I, I've not seen any Batman at all, but we do have fairly modern um Marvel and it's stuff that's like the generation after I had any interest and I never was a big Marvel reader but the generation after it's people like um, Mark Wade's Daredevil, um, Ta-Nehisi Coates, um, Black Panther, this Miss Marvel, um, there's Spider-Man and things like that but it's um, it's not Peter Parker which is a real shame I think for, for the young people particularly because the, the movie's still doing great business and it's got all three Peter Parkers if you like but we've only got Miles Morales in, in the actual libraries which is there you go anyway of the top 10 most popular comic books number one is The Simpsons and all the others are manga in fact in the, in the 100 top 100 there's two Simpsons books and all the rest is manga there's not anything by anybody else. And there's another thing that's um, important to note here is that the library won't let you take out certain mangas if you're under a certain age. They're, some of them are, are restricted because of the content, and that means that actually the audience for the Marvel books would be much higher or a bigger audience potentially than the one for the mangas because once you get something that's restricted to year 11 in the UK that's like the last year that you're doing uh, secondary school you're not in the library a lot not not for that sort of thing you'll be in there researching essays and things whereas years 7, 8, 9 so 12, 13, 14 year olds go to the libraries for reading lessons and they're able to read whatever they want and you might be going well perhaps people are reading marvel and not manga they're borrowing manga but they're reading marvel in the classrooms and, and that's not the case either because they've been in the library and the 
the when when a class comes into a library the manga section gets ransacked as you can probably imagine with all the kids trying to get whichever one it is and then the ones that can't get what they want will have a look in the other comic book section which is where the marvel is and they just it just doesn't get trashed no it, not it's just not popular I'm making no comment on the standard of the books themselves because I don't read them. I, I haven't read Marvel since probably the maybe the 80s, maybe into the 90s a little bit. Mostly the comic books that I read were English ones, 2000 AD, Judge Dredd, the magazine, that sort of thing. And we don't have any of those. We don't carry those, which I think is a real shame because I think a British library ought to support British comics, then international comics... But we don't have anything, and that's a bit of a shame. The one thing that perhaps Marvel books have slightly against them is that they are in the section where, for example, if we had a graphic novel of Othello by Shakespeare or um, The Great Gatsby, those graphic novels are in the same section as Marvel. So if you sort of went to that section, you might go, uh, this is not comic books, this, they're trying to trick me into reading a classic. So that that might put people off that section slightly, but still, if it was only that, given that they have the wider audience available to them by not being in any way age-restricted, you would expect to see at least something creeping into the top 100 graphic novels that we're lending out, and it just isn't. There's nothing. Honestly, I, I don't know what, at this point, Marvel could do about it other than what they should have done sort of 10 years ago which is make their comic books the same as the marvel movies now they're doing that now i think with things like ms marvel and i think it's pretty obvious that if there's another iron man movie it'll be riri williams and that's the sort of thing that they're going to do is change the movies to reflect the modern comics rather than make the comics actually what you should have been getting in the films which but by now it's too late anyway because the, the Marvel uh, Universe's like, endgame. That that was the end of that run, if you like. So it's okay now to have... Oh, we're going to start again. We're going to have um, Miles Morales, Peter Parker. Not Peter Parker. We're going to have Riri Williams, not Tony Stark. And we're going to have that sort of thing. Going forward is, is the way it's going to be, I think. But will it make the comic books any more popular? It's just... It's not like we have no stock. It's just that the kids are not interested. Very rare that you see somebody go into that shelf looking for something other than just taking The Simpsons or grabbing the manga which is right next door. Anyway, why is manga so popular? I've never really got into it. I read a few when it was probably in the mid-90s again when it was just sort of coming over here and sort of being building up. And I really just did not get into it I just found it a little bit strange I just did not get into it at all and having looked at the ones that that are in the libraries and things like that it just doesn't seem to be particularly interesting either um, it's certainly popular when you hear the young people talking or when they want to talk to you it's like oh, have you got this like my academia number five have you read this one so I didn't and they start telling you all about it it's like I haven't read it. <laughs> Why would I want to read it? Um, but yeah, they, they definitely get excited and want to tell you about what they've been reading and what they're reading is manga and not Marvel. And it's definitely not DC because we have nothing. Very, very little. We have, I think, some Wonder Woman. That, that's about it, I think. Anyway. By all means, let me know in the comments why, why manga is so popular. But please don't recommend me manga to read because I'm very unlikely to actually read it. Normally on this channel you will see book reviews and things related to books. I suppose this is rather tenuously related to books um, and hopefully it was of interest to somebody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.